This is where the new jobs are being created. We know that. We know that now that in the past uh, 10 years or so that new companies are creating all the new jobs. Flugen is a company that's focused very differently than other companies. We're focused on a disease state. We're looking at this differently, so we're thinking about this and saying, hey, we don't just want to be a vaccine company. We, we again want to get at influenza. We want to deal with influenza from all angles. So we have both a vaccine program and a therapeutic or antiviral program. Our technology that we brought in uh, was from the university initially, and most of our technology is from UW and Wharf. Two of our founders are professors at the University of Wisconsin. But there's a nice synergy there where we're able to get access to early stage technologies that we can help develop and then take it from that basic research stage to the commercialization stage. Right now we're working with angel investors, so we're not in that stage yet of going to venture capital markets. We're right on course in some areas and ahead of schedule in other areas. Uh, we are going to be in the clinic faster than we thought we were, which is really exciting because once you get into the clinic you become more fundable, you get partners that are interested in working with you, which we have already. We have major pharmaceutical partners talking with us about our medical device at this point in time and it just makes you sustainable. This area is fantastic for, uh, for uh, development of, of biotech businesses with the uh, quality of the workforce and the quality of the technology. I just can't imagine anywhere that's better. Quintessence is a company that's really on the, the forefront of trying to bring new cancer drugs to help patients that really need it. We're actually clinical stage, so Quintessence has taken our technology and translated it into a product that we call QBI-139 that's in a phase one clinical trial. Quintessence is funded all by individual investors, what are sometimes referred to as angel investors. So we raise equity financing in order to do the work that we do. So there are a lot of uh, dollars and a lot of hard work that goes into getting a company like Quintessence to the stage we're at. When we started, we had licensed a technology from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. The technology had been exercised a little bit, but mostly in things like petri dishes and test tubes. What we've done is to basically translate that into more robust systems, model systems of disease. We've done large-scale manufacturing, for example, of our drug, which is necessary to do a clinical trial and gone to the FDA for approval of what's called an investigational new drug application to allow us to do our clinical testing. Quintessence is looking forward to actually finishing up our phase one clinical trial of our lead product QBI-139 and taking that into the next stage of clinical development. I think we're a big success story in uh, bringing new technology to market uh, in an environment where people, I think, thought that, you know, tough to, tough to raise venture money in, uh, in Wisconsin. It turns out this is actually a great environment for, uh, for startups, and we're one of a host of, of uh, firms that have been spun off from the University of Wisconsin and really all that it has to offer. The company then was initially funded and raised a total of about $42 million in, in venture capital over the course of the next few years. We ultimately did go public uh, in 2007 had an IPO, uh, raised a couple hundred million dollars, which has gone then into building this uh, operations facility, among other things, to fund our, our continued growth and development. We manufacture a device that's built on a, a CT scanning platform. So it looks like a, a giant CT scanner, uh, and it both uh, images patients to define location of a tumor, and then it treats with external beam radiation. So it's precise uh, targeting of the cancer cells and avoiding the normal tissue. Today we have about uh, 600 employees. Uh, we just recently press released the, the installation of our 300th system in Aosta, Italy. We're in over 20 countries worldwide. I think the principal reason that it works here is, is because of the employee base. We have a, uh, you know, very passionate, dedicated employees who want to make a difference. I think specifically for cancer care, everybody here has been touched you know, personally through a friend or a family member and uh, it's an opportunity to, to do something meaningful, make a difference.